guys, welcome to SS Small Time Unit. This is Arjun Kokunda, and today we will be learning about dividing four digit numbers by one digit numbers. So today our objective will be using understanding how to use estimating to divide four digit numbers by one digit numbers. So what we will be doing today is dividing four digit numbers by one digit numbers and we're going to use help or we're going to use estimating which is kind of going to make our answer easier to find. So I'm going to start off with showing you guys some problems. So our first problem here is 1980 divided by 4. So before we start doing the problem, we are going to round this number to its nearest hundreds. So one of the option is obviously 1,900, but we need to look for any other numbers that are close to this number and that could be rounded to its nearest hundreds. So the next option could be 2,000 because that's the next hundreds place after 1,900. So what we can do is we can look at this number. We have to look at the tenths place number to find out which one it rounds to. So if it's more than five, then we will round it to 2,000. It could be equal to five, then it would still round to 2,000. And if it rounds to, I mean, if it's less than five, sorry. If it's less than five, then it rounds to this. So I'm just putting triangle or circle here just to make me remember. So obviously eight is more than five. So our rounding number is going to be 2000. So now we're going to divide. 2,000 divided by 4. So what we're going to do is let's start dividing. So we can set it up. 2,000 and then a 4 right here. Well, you don't have to set it up because this problem is pretty easy. But I just recommend it because it's more accurate. In my opinion so uh, what we can do is we know that 4 times 5 equals 20 so we're going to subtract then we get a 0 and that's all really we need what we need to do these two zeros all we're going to do is to them is we're just going to add it to the answer so one zero there and one zero there so after we divide, we get an answer of 500. But that is not our final answer. That is approximately our answer. So whatever our answer is going to be, it is close or about to this, about this number. So now let's actually divide it. So actually divide 1,980. So four right there. And then 1,980. So 4 times 4 equals 16. We subtract 9 minus 6 is 3. And we bring the 8 down. We have 38. 4 times 9 is 36. So now after we subtract, a minus 6 is 2. 3 minus 3 is 0. Now the zero comes down. So four times five equals 20. So we have no remainder there. And our answer is 495. Well, now what we no do know is that our answer is approximately 500. And now we're going to round 4095 to its nearest hundreds to find out if this answer is right. Well, if you round this number, 
we know that our tenths place number, which is 9, is more than 5. So we round to the next hundreds. So after 400, you add 100, then that would be 500. So this number, rounding to its nearest hundreds, would be 500. So this is the right answer. Our answer is 495. If you're still not sure about it, then you can do you can also multiply. So you can do 495 times 4. I'm just going to do it for this problem because I already started it. So 4 times 5 4 times 5 equals 20, so the 2 goes up here. And then 0 down here. Sorry about that. I took a long pause there. And then 9 times 4 is 36, so we add 2 to that, so it becomes 50, wait, no, not 56, uh, it becomes 38, so 3 here, and 8 here, sorry about that, I'm gonna erase that, and then change it to a 3, so there we have it, okay, so now we have 4 times 4, 4 times 4 is 16 and then 16 plus 3 is 19. So we got an answer of 1980. That means we did it right. So our answer, our final answer, is 495. Now let's do our second problem. Our second problem is 5329 divided by 5. So again, we're going to round 5,329 to its nearest hundreds. So what we will do is let's come up with a few possibilities. One obviously could be 5,300. And then the next one would be 5,400 because that's the next hundreds place. Next hundreds number, sorry. So, obviously, what we need to do is look at two, like I said, because I said that before in the last problem. And then, is it more than five, less than five, or equal to five? Two is less than five. So, it would round to 5,300. So, now, what we will do is we will do 5,300 divided by 5. So let's set it up. 5, do that, and then 5,300. So now let's divide. We know that 5 times 10 equals 50. So let's subtract 3 minus 0 equals 3, and then 5 minus 5 equals 0, so we don't have to write anything there. Then we bring these two zeros down. We can just bring one if you want, but I'm just going to bring both of them. So now what we'll do is we're doing 300 divided by 5. Well, you might think it's a lot, but it's not. It's not really. So first, let's look at 30. So we have a 30 there. So... What we're going to do is think about it like this. So, what is 30 divided by 5? 30 divided by 5 is 6. So, 5 times 6 equals 30. So, we put a 6 there. And then we have a 0 left here. So, all we do, we're just going to bring that 0 up here. And then, we're going to subtract 300. Then, we get a 0. So, how do you do that? There's another way of doing it. You can just bring one zero down, then you would have only 30. So I'm just going to show it to you how to do that one. So I'm going to erase this. And then we have 30. And then we have this zero there. So we're not bringing that down. So what we will do is we're just going to come up with 6 so we won't have the 0 there let's just erase that 0 so we know that 
5 times 6 is 30, so we get a 30 over there. And then we subtract, we get a 0. So that's it, we don't have to divide anymore. But, we still have a 0 there. So all we're going to do is we're just going to bring that up there. That's just another way of doing it. So now, let's do the actual problem, which is 5,329 divided by 5. So let's set it up. 5,329. 29, sorry. 29 divided by 5. I'm going to erase this because we might need some place to work. But you you don't have to erase it if you have enough space. So what we're going to do is we're going to start dividing. 5 times 10 equals 50. We get a 3 there. And then we bring that 2 down. 32. Uh, so 5 times 6 equals 30. Then we subtract 2 minus 0 equals 2, 3 minus 3 equals 0. Then we bring the 9 down. We know that 5 times 5 is 25, so we put a 5 right there, and then write 25, subtract, and we get a remainder of 0. I mean a f 4, sorry, not 0. Really sorry about that. Keep getting confused sometimes. So, uh, now we have a remainder. So again, if you want to double check, you can multiply. But we know that last time we got, when we multiplied by 5,300, we got 1,060. So yes, it is really close. But if you still want to double check it, you can always multiply. So what we will do is we're going to multiply, so 1065 times 5. So 5 times 5 equals 25, so we have a 2 there, and then a 5 down here, and then, sorry about that, I'm going to erase that because it looks more on the 5 side. Okay, so 2 up there, okay, there, that's good. So 5 times 6 is 30, and then we have a 2 up here, so we're going to add. So we get 32, 3 is here, and then 2 down here. 5 times 0 is 0, and then we have a 3, so we're going to write a 3 there. Then 5 times 1 equals 5. Now you must be thinking, this is not the right answer, because we have a 5 here instead of a 9. But do you know why? Well, that is because we have a 4 down here. So what we do with the remainder is we add it. So we add it to our final multiplication answer. 5 times 4 is 9, and then everything else comes down by itself. So we got the right answer. So you need to remember this. If you want to check it, you need to remember to use the remainder when you're adding. If you don't have a remainder, like this problem, if you have a zero, you don't have to do that. So our answer here is 1065 with a remainder of one, sorry, of four actually, not one. There we go. You can also write them separately like quotient equals 1,065, remainder equals 4, but this is, you know, faster. So now, let's do our third question. Our third question here is 1,243 divided by 6. So first, we are going to round this number to its nearest hundreds. So, the possible of these are 1,200 and 1,300 because those two are the numbers that this number is in between. So what we will do is we're going to look at this number. So is it more than 5, less than 5, or equal to 5? 
4 is less than 5, so this number is closer to 1,200. So now we are going to divide. 1,200 divided by 6. We don't need to set this up because it's really easy. So what we can do is one th I mean 12, 12, because that's our numbers, not including the zeros. We're going to do 12 divided by 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2, because 6 times 2 is 12. And then we're going to bring the zeros down. So we have 200. That's approximately our answer. So now we're actually going to divide. So 1,243 divided by 6. So now, let's find the answer. 6 times 2 is 12. Then we get a 0 there. We bring the 4 down. But it's less than 6. So what we will do is we're going to add a 0 and then bring the 3 down. So now what we will do is now we will divide again. 43 divided by 6. 6 times 7 is 42. So we get a remainder of 1. And that's it. That's our problem. So our answer is 207 with the remainder of 1. And this does round to 200. So we are right the remainder of 1. You can write them separately like quotient equals 207 or remainder equals 1. You can write it like that too but I'd say this is easier and obviously much faster. So that's it for our lesson today guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep practicing more so you perfect it and please like and share and subscribe to our channel. If you like this video and it helped you out, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos.